Kimberly, looks like you're the first one to pop in today. <laughs> I wanted to show you all this amazing coffee cup that I just got. This is a ball of yarn. They only had pink, and of course I do like pink, but yellow's my favorite color, and so they didn't have any yellow ones. But if they have a yellow one, I'll get another one. Now, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you're all going to ask. Um, something that I like to do is, like, one week I'll go to Hobby Lobby. The next week I might go to Joann's, and then the next week I might go to Michael's. And I do this to kind of keep up with what's new out there. And I did notice that Joann's had a bunch of new stuff, and Michael's is doing a reset. And Hobby Lobby is due for their spring reset pretty soon. So you might start seeing some of their things on clearance as well. But anyway, I saw this mug. I think it was $6.99, but I used my 30% off coupon and got it. Isn't that adorable? Whoops, almost spilled coffee on you. <laughs> hmm, looks like my makeup got a little smeared. <laughs> Are you all excited today? Today we're going to announce the winner of our June giveaway and we're going to do that first and then once we do that we are going to crochet together an adorable little butterfly super cute super easy and super fun I thought they went really good with our ladybug and our bumblebee <laughs> and so I thought it would be fun now, I know some of you are asking about the turtle and I was working with it, and I'm not happy with the way the pattern was working out. So we're going to wait till I get back from vacation, and which I'll be gone next Tuesday. And I'm hoping my husband and I are planning to come back and stop in a special place and do a live video from that special place. We're going to try to do it at 930 on Tuesday. Um... Uh, let's see, the time there is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have to check with the time change. But we're going to keep it the same time on Mountain Time at 9.30. It'll be a quick, fun video, and I hope you'll pop in and join in. Also, um, I also have some videos that I've been doing ahead of time so that I can schedule them on YouTube. I have one scheduled for Friday because I am still going to do a video tomorrow. I'm real excited about tomorrow's video it's going to be a lace cowl. I think you're really going to like it. It's a, it's a fun repeat. Works up beautifully. Anyway, so I have one scheduled for Friday. And then I also am going to schedule one for Monday and then next Wednesday as well. Because we'll be traveling home on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, so be sure and be looking for those on YouTube. They're going to be done ahead of time. And they'll just be scheduled. And I'm scheduling about 11.45. Um, one thing I learned... Because lately, it just seemed like my videos have been taking so long to upload onto YouTube. And I learned that if you don't load them at the top of the hour, they go quicker. Like, don't do it at noon. Do it at either at 11.45 or 12.15. And I don't know why that is, but it just seems like it goes quicker. All right. For those of you who are just coming in, let's go ahead and do our clink in. And then I'll tell you the winner. <laughs> Are you ready? Now, don't hit my ball of yarn too hard. We don't want it breaking, okay? <laughs> Clinkity, clink, clink. <laughs> I love this cup. It is so much fun. And it's really quite big. And if you missed it, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Use that 30% off coupon. It'll only cost you a few bucks. <laughs> All right, so... Um, <clears throat> are you ready to find out who the winner is? I'm looking through here to see if I see her name on here. Alrighty, so the winner is going to receive the project bag, Coffee and Crochet with Sarah, with those skeins of cotton yarn inside. <laughs> And then I always add something special to the bag that I have made just so that, you know, I can send you something that I made. Okay, so I won't tell you what that is. It'll be a surprise when it gets there. All right, now I'm going to tell you the name of the winner. Before I do this, I want to tell you how to get a hold of me to send me your shipping address. Never, ever 
and I can't express this enough, never ever put your shipping address or your email address in any comments anywhere. Not on YouTube, not on um, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. You should never ever do that, okay? And I want to express that because I have had people in the past will, will put their shipping address right in the comments. Don't do that, okay? What you need to do, there's two ways you can contact me to give me your shipping address so I can get this out to you. And after I tell you who the winner is, I want you to contact me today or tomorrow so I can get this out because we're leaving early Thursday morning, okay? And if you don't get me your address soon enough, you'll have to wait a week till I get back from our uh, vacation to visit my father-in-law. Okay, you can contact me on the Posh Pooch Designs Facebook page in the messages. Just click send a message. Tell me your name, your email address if you want tracking, because I can't give uh, tracking without the email address, and your shipping address only in the message, not anywhere on a comment. The other thing that you can do if you, if you don't want to use uh, Facebook, that's fine. You can go to www.poshpoochdesigns.com and remember to put that HTTP in front of it because if you don't, sometimes it doesn't come up. That's my webpage and you'll see over there on the side it says contact. Hit that contact tab, it'll shoot straight over to my email and then you can give me your email and shipping address that way as well. All right? All right, so I hope everybody understands. Are you ready? I was looking through here again to see. All right. See, the way it works is we grab all the names from Facebook. We grab all the names from YouTube. So sometimes there's someone who went one off YouTube, sometimes off Facebook. It's just random generated and the names pop up. All right. Are you ready? The winner is... Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Her name, it is a lady. Her name is Cindy Ann Larvey or Larvey. C-Y-N-D-I... Cindy, Anne, A-N-N-E, and the last name is Larvae, or Lar L-A-R-V-I-E. Larvae is how it sounds to me, but, you know, names never go with grammar rules, so you say them however you want. Congratulations, Cindy. Contact me as quickly as you can. If she's not here and you know her, let her know she won, and we'll get this out to you. Soon as we're done with our video today, I'm going to pack it up, wash it down, and get it in that box all ready to go. And all I need is your address, and I'll slap a label on it, all right? Congratulations for winning the June giveaway. All right, now, the July giveaway is going to be fun, and you'll learn what that is the first Tuesday in July. All righty. And everybody, please say congratulations to Cindy also. That way her name pops up more, and then she'll see it if, if she doesn't happen to be here or when this gets over to YouTube, okay? All right, are you ready to make a butterfly? All right, it's super duper easy, and it's nice and quick. It's not going to be as long as the butterfly one. I mean, the bumblebee one. <laughs> Last week I said ladybug, and I meant bumblebee or honeybee, and this week I said honeybee, and I meant butterfly. Anyway, they're bugs, summer bugs, <laughs> and they're all good bugs too. Ladybugs eat aphids off your rose bushes and other things. Bumblebees and honeybees, they help to, you know, pollinate everything. And butterflies also, you probably don't know this, but they do some pollinating themselves, and they're great bugs. Um, so what you're going to need is just a little bit of two colors. I'm going to make the body in this pink and the or the wings in the pink and the body and the antennae in the gray. This is just some yarn I had on hand. It's a medium number four acrylic. You can use acrylic, you can use cotton or a blend, whatever you have on hand, as long as it's a medium number four. We're going to stitch with our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle and you'll need your scissors. All right. All right. So I'm going to start with my pink. Move some of this out of the way here. We're going to make our slip knot 
and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're going to stitch the wings all in the second chain from the hook, all right? Now make sure you have a little bit long of a tail because we're going to use this when we're done to close up the center of our butterfly. And I'll explain that more to you in just a second. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch three chains. We've done that. Okay, I'm looking at my notes here. Now we're going to stitch three triples. So we're going to put two wraps over our hook. We're going to go in the second chain from the hook and pull up another loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the second two. Yarn over and go through the third two. So that's one triple. We need to stitch two more. So there's two and this will be my third triple crochet stitch. All right, so we have three triples. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to slip stitch right in this same stitch, the same chain. Everything's going to be stitched for the wings in this same chain. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. All right, so now we're going to only stitch double crochets. So we're going to stitch three double crochets. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over and go through the second two. So there's one, two, and three. We're going to chain three. We're going to go right in that same stitch and slip stitch and chain three again. All right, now we're going to stitch three more double crochets. One, two, three. And now we'll chain three. One, two, three. All right, we'll slip stitch in that same chain or stitch and chain three and it's going to be snug. <clears throat> All right, so we have this wing has three triples and these two wings have three doubles. Now we're going to stitch three triples again, okay? So two wraps, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over, and go through the third two. And this is because the wings on the top are bigger little bit longer than the wings on the bottom. All right, so here's my third triple. Two, three, whoops. <laughs> Two, three, chain three. And then we'll go right in that same stitch with our slip stitch. And then we're gonna stitch one little chain one right there just to hold it. And we're going to cut our yarn. And what you'll have here is, let me move my hook out of the way, you'll have two upper wings with triples and you'll have two lower wings with double crochets. We're going to turn this over and we're going to grab that beginning tail of yarn. Now if you would like to do the magic circle on this, you certainly can. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around those stitches and just gather close that hole. We don't want our butterfly to have a hole in the center. Some people prefer to do the magic circle or the magic ring. I just prefer to do this way. It's just a preference. Remember, you gotta do what works best for you. Get in there, close that up. And my thinking is I have to weave this in anyway, so I might as well just use it. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and cut this one off. So there's our butterfly. Make sure you've got your longer wings at the top and your shorter wings at the bottom. We're going to grab our next color. And you don't have to change colors here. You can leave your butterfly all one color. 
Alrighty, so we're going to change to our gray and we're going to chain eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to take this chain and wrap it around the body all the way around and then we'll join to that first chain that we made with a slip stitch and just make sure everything oh, I pulled the wrong string <laughs> make sure everything's just snug down there's your butterfly body now I'm going to chain five one two three four five and we're gonna make the two little antennae or antennas We'll slip stitch in the second chain and then we'll slip, slip stitch in the next three. One, two, three. And now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do that again. Slip stitch in the second and then slip stitch in the next three. One, two, three. All right, now they're kind of sticking up, but don't worry. What we're going to do is we're going to join right to that first chain where we started the body chain. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut this. We'll tie this off. All right, <laughs> that's kind of funny how one's curling and one's straight up, huh? <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to use our needle and weave this in, but also make sure those, oops, my thread split there, but make sure those antenna or antennae are how you want them. I'm just going to go here in the back, make a couple of stitches, then I'm going to look on the front. <laughs> it looks super cute. And then I can weave all these ends in, which I'm not going to do right now to take up too much time. But we'll weave those all in, and now you've got an adorable butterfly applique. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, it's a lot of fun. I love these little butterflies because you can put them on just about anything. I think it'd be super cute to make a sun hat and maybe have a flower and then have like some butterflies or some of the bees or some of the ladybugs. And so I thought it would just be super fun to do some bugs. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, my chair won't go where it's supposed to. I have this um, vinyl thing on the ground so that I don't wear out my carpet, and sometimes it slides with me. <laughs> All righty. So, we announced the winner. Congratulations, Cindy. We announced, there she is. Woohoo! <laughs> All righty. So, then we made a butterfly. We clinked in with our coffee mugs. <laughs> I just love this coffee mug. It's so much fun. All right, so let's talk about what's new this week at Posh Pooch Designs. Now we have three new, three new patterns. <laughs> All right, so the first one we did was the trivet. And <clears throat> I did this one because I had so many requests for a thick trivet that wasn't just a square. And I like square trivets, so don't misunderstand me. I like those too. And this one is super fun. It's put together and stitched holding two strands of 100% cotton together. And it's just so pretty. But I wanna make sure that you understand this is not meant as a hot pad to pull anything hot off the stove or out of the oven. This is intended to sit on the counter or on the table and put something hot on top of it in order to protect the table or the counter, all right? But someone posted, you're burning your hand. I'm like, it's not intended for that. Do not use this as a hot pad or a pot holder other than just sitting on the table, holding a hot casserole or a hot pot right off the stove, okay? They're super cute and um, forgot to grab these other ones. These are made with just leftover cottons. This one looks, you know, like just blue and red. This one looks like a daisy. And this one's got like pinks. It's actually yellow, even though it looks white on there. It's like a real, real light lemon yellow. 
And so you can take your leftover cottons, put two colors you think that wouldn't even go together and make something really pretty, right? And so now I've got four wonderful trivets to set in my kitchen whenever I want to pull something out and still have a pretty hot pad. I think these would go along if you wanted to give a gift for, say, someone who's just moving into a new apartment, a new house, just getting married, or maybe just moving out on their own for the first time, or going off to college or something, and they're going to have a kitchen. Make them some, some you know, washcloths and some scrubbies and all those things, but make them some of these too. Because <clears throat> when I was first married, I remember pulling out a casserole, setting it right on the counter, and we were in a rental house at the time. We were in the military. And then I went to grab it because I knew that I didn't put anything under it, and I moved it and slid it onto the stove, burnt my hand, and I left a rectangle, oh, a square actually, on the counter, and I got in so much trouble. So <clears throat> don't burn your counters or your tables. <laughs> Make some of these. <laughs> All right, the other thing that we made this week was the Heidi headband, and I absolutely love these. I was going to wear one this morning, and I couldn't find this one, and this one doesn't match my outfit, and then I found this later, and I thought, oh, I should have just put it on because the pink matches. So anyway, these are super fun to make. It's just a braided headband with a super duper cute button, and these can be adjusted to any size at all. From little kids to people with big heads. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Super easy to make. And it's another fun project to use up some of your leftover yarns. This one is leftover mandala sparkle in yellows, which I love because you all know I love yellow. And this one's a leftover mandala also. It's one of the um, variegateds. So, I mean, you can, you can do so much with your leftover yarns. Don't throw them out. Don't get rid of them. Make stuff. I make gifts. I mean, think about adding this to somebody's Christmas stocking, maybe, or maybe for a Hanukkah gift or something. You know, um, yarn's expensive, you know, and so we don't want to get rid of those small bits and pieces. We want to make fun and useful things and gifts. And I like to do that. I like to make them up. And then when somebody's birthday comes around or celebration or housewarming or whatever, I've got some things I can put together in a gift basket and give them. And it's super fun. And lots of times I even have a basket or a bag that I've crocheted to put them in as well. And then those things are super fun to give. I rarely have ever had anyone say something like, oh, and usually it was family. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, now, yesterday we did the washcloth of the month. The June washcloth normally comes out the third Monday or the third Monday of the month. But since we're going to be gone next week, we went ahead and did it yesterday. Okay? So we did the, I'm going to show you this one first. This is the scrub off yarn. You can see it's got some scrubby in there. And I mentioned in the video, I had a little trouble with the blue. For some reason, the scrubby portion of the blue, it kept busting in half. And so I ended up just um, only using a little bit of it and then switching back to this um, red color. So I'll keep that in mind. But this is um, the one I did for the tutorial, and I absolutely love it. And I did two colors so that what we did is we started with the yellow and we increased, and then I showed you with the pink how to decrease. And I did a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you prefer a written pattern, it's on the blog. All you have to do is click that link underneath the video and it'll take you right to the blog and I've got pictures on there. One of the things I'm trying to do, because a lot of people really prefer a video, but a lot of people prefer a written pattern with a photo tutorial or pictures. And so I'm trying to do all of those with my new patterns. And then when I update an older pattern, I try to add lots of new pictures as well. Because a video is great, but if you really like looking at just a picture, then you've got two options there that can help you, all right? And I had so many questions about, can you do a tutorial on the C2C or the um, corner to corner? And something you may not know is a corner to corner can be any stitch at all. You can use any stitch as long as you can go corner to corner or diagonal. 
Okay, and so, but I did the most popular, of course, the double crochet. And then once you practice this, and this is a great way to practice and learn how to do it. I just love the stitches in it. Isn't that gorgeous? It, to me, it's just, just a beautiful, beautiful stitch. Okay, and so once you learn that, then you can make a blanket. You could make a scarf and lots of other things. And so this is just a square, and I do have something coming up later where we're going to make it into a rectangle so you can understand how to measure and get the shape right. Because with the pattern, I mean, making a square, you just reverse what you did. But when you do a rectangle or maybe a triangle or something, you have to, to calculate and do it a little bit different. And so I've got something coming up probably in the fall for that to uh, do a scarf. I think it's a scarf with pockets. I can't remember exactly. Probably what you don't know is right now we're, we're, we're you know, um, planning for Christmas and fall and Christmas and even January because <laughs> when you do as many patterns as we do trying to keep up and everything, you've got to plan ahead. So anyway, that's what I'll get someone and they'll say, can you make this? And I'm like, I don't know if I can squeeze that in, <laughs> you know. And another thing to remember, this is very, very important. Um, if you ask me to make a video uh, from another designer's patterns, the answer will always be no, unless that pattern designer contacts me themselves and asks me to do it, which I have um, done a few, um, but they were with permission and from my daughter um, that also does pattern designs. And so, um, I just want you to know that in my opinion, making a video of somebody else's pattern without permission is just basically unethical. And I'm not gonna, I, I just, I'm not gonna do it because I don't think it's fair to that pattern designer. Okay, and I know there's a lot of pattern designers out there that do do videos. And so if there's a pattern from another pattern designer that you're struggling with, maybe you don't quite understand their wordage because, you know, all pattern designers, we word things differently. You know, we're all different in, in our minds and stuff. And so you can always contact that pattern designer and ask them, do you have a video on this? Do you have a photo tutorial on this? And sometimes they may or may not. You know, but um, I just I just want to be really, really clear on that. I will never, ever do another pattern, I mean, another crochet pattern designer's pattern unless they have given me 100% permission. That's just, that's just me, okay? And I, I really appreciate the compliments, those of you that, that do enjoy my patterns and, and the way that I teach. I, I try to take it a little slower. I try to... Um, you know, be real thorough about the stitches and where they go. And I mean, you know, I make mistakes too, you know, or maybe my hand might be in the wrong spot or something, you know, uh, but I do my best. And um, <clears throat> because I, I sort of feel like um, crochet, I, and I've said this many, many times, <laughs> that crochet is an art and that I think everybody ought to be crocheting. I don't care who you are. <laughs> and at least learn because I find it to be very healing and comforting to be able to shut the world out and just sit down and concentrate on this one item or something like that. And if I'm making somebody something for somebody, I try to find out what their favorite colors are or what they're into. You know, if they're into bunny rabbits and they've got bunnies all over their house, I might make you something with a bunny rabbit on it or something like that. And so, you know, it kind of gives you opportunity to think about that person when you're making something for them. You know, and a lot of times I, I'll make something for somebody and I like it so much so I keep it. <laughs> and then I have to make them something else. <laughs> so, anywho, I have one more thing I want to show you. Let me grab a drink of coffee from this awesome mug. All right. <clears throat> when I was at Hobby Lobby, I had my granddaughter with me. She's almost eight. And I told her, I said, I'm looking for kind of a country-ish red, white, and blue yarn, because I have a uh, blanket uh, that that I want to make, but I don't want it to be just like bright red, white, and blue. I wanted it to be kind of a, kind of a country look, and so we're walking along, and of course, she found the, this coffee mug she, that she thought was awesome. She's so funny, because she's like, I love that yarn ball mug, but 
It's so sad it's not in yellow because that's your favorite color. <laughs> she knows me so well. I said, that's okay because I like pink too and pink is your favorite color. And then she's like, no, this week my favorite color is green. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, she found this yarn, okay? And I just love it. It's called Brighton Road and it is the I Love This Yarn yarn. And see how it looks? I, th I just love it. It's got like a country feel to it. Because it's got kind of a yellowy beige in there instead of just white. And the red is kind of a variegated uh, red. Let me get this so you can see it. Kind of a variegated red and the blue is the same way. I just totally love it. And it's called Brighton Road. Where did it go? Let's see. It's called, make sure I'm saying that right. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. Brighton Road. And it's the typical 100% acrylic. I love this yarn. And y'all know I love that I love this cotton. It is like one of the softest cottons ever. And as a matter of fact, this one here and this one that have the two different colors in it, they're made from some of the I love this cotton. I don't know the colors or anything because I don't have the wrappers anymore because these were leftovers. But it's just super duper soft. And I would actually use these as a washcloth as well as a hot pad or a pot. Um, trivet <laughs> too many names for too many things but anywho i just fell in love with this yarn and if you're looking for like a uh, like a country red white and blue instead of just like the bright this is just perfect and i love that beige in there isn't that pretty it's kind of a goldy beige i love that and so i have plans i always say this i have plans for this yarn um <clears throat> but I, I do because like i said i'm always planning things way way in advance all right, so we've gone over the 30-minute mark, so we're going to have to go, okay? Make some butterflies, stick them all over everything, and make sure that you get a good cup of coffee today. <laughs> and I just have one more thing I want to say. I, I know there's a lot going on out there in the world, There's and it's all coming at us. And um, I just thank you for taking you know just 30 minutes of your time and breaking away from all of that and just laugh have a little fun it's okay it's okay to laugh a little bit and have some fun and still feel serious about what's going on in the world okay um like i said crochet can be a great healing thing and a great escape from all of the heavy all right so <clears throat> i'm going to like i said First of all, congratulations, Cindy, for winning our June giveaway. I'm going to be leaving Thursday morning, so contact me quickly. And um, also, I will be popping in on Tuesday on Facebook only, and I might post it to YouTube after I get back, but it's going to be a special spot that we picked out to stop at. It's actually um, on our way. And so are our way back. We're leaving this Thursday and then we'll be back next Wednesday. So it's only about a week I'll be gone. But like I said, I've got some videos that I'm going to, uh, that I've got scheduled. So there'll be some new videos for the end of this week and next week. <clears throat> so um, make sure you pop over there, watch those videos. So while I'm gone, I can still, you know, get a little revenue. And speaking of that, um, someone told me they don't like the videos or the commercials on my videos. And I just want you to say, I just want you all to know, I don't pick those. Some of them are just random. They, that fit our genre. And so, <clears throat> but that's how I make a little money so that I can afford a lot of the yarn and things that we do like my webpage and things. Okay. So it's okay if you don't like the videos, I don't like all of them either, but if you just let them play, walk away, go get you a cup of coffee or a hot cocoa or a tall glass of Pepsi and let it play. And then when it's over, watch the video. You'll be helping me make just a few cents so that I can continue to do what we do. Okay. <clears throat> so I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now. <laughs>